Thank you. Thank you so much. It is a huge pleasure to be here. This is my first trip to Porto, um, and I'm in love with the city. I think it is so beautiful. I went around uh, yesterday. I've eaten what I'm told is the best fish in the world. Um, that is one of those uh, boasts or claims that, as we journalists say, is too good to check. So I'm not going to check whether, the, in fact, the fish from Matsuzinish is the best in the world. I will simply tell everybody that I have had the best fish in the world. Um, look, what I want to talk about is the way in which we are at a crisis point in the world, at a kind of moment of transformation. When I talk to people pretty much anywhere in the world, everyone is nervous and uncertain. They're asking themselves, what is the future going to bring? And there is a reason why they are nervous and uncertain. We are going through four huge crises simultaneously. Right. So we have to start thinking in that kind of holistic way, practical, idealistic at the same time. You know, in a sense, what I'm describing in terms of what we are trying to do is what Roosevelt was doing in 1942. Thinking with vision, thinking with idealism, trying to change the world, but at the same time, never losing a, a sight of the practical realities of what human beings are like and what human societies are like. So we have to find a way of marrying those two things, our idealism and our, our, and our realism. And if we do that, I truly believe we are going to find that we are entering an extraordinary era of positive growth, but not growth just in the economic sense, human growth, internal growth, where we will be living in better societies, better because of the way we treat other human beings, better because we, of the way we treat other living creatures, and better because of the way we treat the planet. That should be our goal. That should be our legacy to our children. Thank you so much. Thank you.